hello my gorgeous friends on the internet how are you all doing welcome to amazing tutorial today and today we are going to be looking at how to create shortcuts in our flutter applications so shortcut is basically we are going to be using quick action plugin yeah to actually uh, do this so it's a way whereby you don't really have to open your application before you can access certain pages in your app so why your app is already you can just click on your app uh, icon from your desktop like your device desktop okay and then to take you to the respective pages that you want to go so let's say for instance we have uh, let's say this is the home page and then we have the settings page okay so let's say we have a settings page okay and then we have a camera page as well all right okay, let me just ask, allow all these stuff so we have these three these three pages okay then if normally if you want to access these pages if you close your application now if you want to access those pages what you have to do is just to search for your app which is you just search for your app and then click on it it will now open this app for us so this is my app now but the way I want to do it is we don't really have to click this app to access <laughs> those uh, pages so what we have to do is just to long press on it and it will give us a quick action like uh, if you want to go to camera you want to go to settings page and why from this side is going to take us to that pages but one disadvantage of this stuff is that it doesn't work from this one disadvantage of this shortcut that I'm going to show you guys is that it doesn't work when you search your app from the gallery like from here so what you have to do you have to add send your app to the desktop so I don't know the type of device you're using or whichever way you're doing it but we're just going to send it to desktop okay camera app has been sent to desktop so once you have sent it to desktop you can just scroll over to this part you're going to see your camera app so we're going to click when you click on it we are going to see the quick actions okay yeah we are going to see the the, the shortcuts that we can navigate to but for now it's not showing because we have not implemented that quick action all right so let's uh dive into the project so the quick action i'm going to be creating two quick actions one is going to be taking us to camera page okay and then the other one is going to be taking us to the settings page all right so we are basically creating two shortcut uh buttons all right so this is the app and you can see this is actually the main dot that and we have the main page with the two buttons to navigate to camera page and account page and now we have a splash screen so i'll be doing everything inside the splash screen okay all right so the first thing we want to do is to uh, make sure you add the dependency which is quick actions so as like when i'm creating this uh this video i'm using 0 0.6.0 .0 as the version so i don't know depending on when you saw this video when you're watching it yeah the version might change but I think it should be the same method, the same procedures to get it done. All right, so you want to make sure you add this quick action first. And when you add it, uh, key your app and then rebuild it again because it's a plugin, it's not a package. Uh, that means it contains native codes. Then after that, we are going to create uh, a variable to actually, uh, so that we'll be able to assess the class of the quick action. So to do that, I mean, I'll be going to my splash screen. So if you don't have any splash screen, you can do yours inside your main dot that. But since I have a splash screen for this app, I'm going to be adding it here so inside here I'm going to create a button uh, sorry a variable which is final quick actions actions cause quick, um, quick actions all right so it will give us access to what this quick action plugin has to offer that means to create the shortcuts and also to create every other thing that is needed all right so while we are there I'm going to create a method and that method is going to be called whenever we run once we run this application i'm going to initialize that method so i'll be calling it inside init state like so so i'll call okay call okay i'll just say enable quick action or let me just say enable shortcut yeah that would be better okay enable shortcut like so and i'll be creating so i'll be creating the method and if i yeah i'll be creating the meter right here so the first thing i want to do now is to first of all i want to create uh the shortcuts yeah i want to set the shortcuts that is going to be displayed all right before i uh add the listener that will navigate us to these pages okay so the first thing i want to do remember we already created this uh quick actions uh 
variable so I'll be using it to create to set our uh, shortcuts so I'll set my shortcuts here alright so what we do here now just call quick actions okay dot set shortcut items so this shortcut items is more like uh, it takes a shortcut item which is the data type okay so you want to make sure you add that and um, to actually avoid any error so it's more like a list of shortcut items so this sh list now you can add as many shortcut items as you want that you want to display whenever the user clicks on your app like when the user long tap on your app from the uh, the short the desktop yeah okay so I want to create the first one is going to be shortcut item okay and it takes a type so this type is more like an identifier okay that we, you will use if you want to add tap listing now okay you're going to see that later so you want to make sure they are unique for everyone so this one is so since I said I'm going to be sh uh, navigating through camera and settings so I'll create the first uh, type which is camera okay that will be the first type and then the localized title is more like the title that will be shown whenever we click when, once we long tap on the icon from the desktop okay so I will name this one uh, camera page like so and it takes one optional parameter which is actually the icon so this icon you cannot really assess this icon this icon will be shown uh, side by side like this camera app as if you are using a list type widget in Flutter okay but this camera widget now you cannot create an asset and then add it so we are you, if you want to add any icon you have to go to your Android uh, if you're using for because I'm not going to be doing for iOS it's for Android that's what I'm be focusing on uh, my bad guys okay so once you go to app source main uh, res uh, resources and you go to your mip map so you want to add all the icons you want to use inside here so for this testing I'll be using IC launcher which is actually the default icon for the app which is a flutter logo so that's what I'll be using to actually get this stuff done all right yeah this is the logo so you can add as many as you want here yeah then once you add it you can just reference the name so in this case this is ic launcher so what I, what I have to do i'll just create a string of ic launcher like so so you don't have to put the extension which is dot png no it's not necessary okay just put only the e the the name of the launcher and then we are going to create another one so i'll call this one this one is going to be settings or account or i'll just say settings here for simplicity uh, shortcut items and uh, you can see settings like so and then we can have a localized title for read as well and I can say settings page okay then I will have icon so this icon is going to be still the same thing because I, I only you launch. didn't put any any icon uh, Android will handle that for you by just putting uh, something else more like a help icon or <laughs> yeah something like that okay so we're gonna save this stuff now and I will do a hot restart real quick all right so just hold on and wait for the hot restart it will show my splash screen so this stuff uh, it, it will also work even if you are not interacting with your application even if I close this app from recent tab it's still going to work but I'm not going to close it because we are still building it okay so if I close let me just remove from recent tabs okay let me just go to the app now so if I click on this camera app now just watch what happens you can see the two icons like the two uh, shortcuts we just added which is camera and the other one is settings page you can see the icons which is flutter default icons so now if we click on it nothing happens it will just open the normal app for us okay but now what i want to do okay let's click on it and see it will just open the normal app for us in the home page but what i want to do i want to navigate us to since i click on camera i want it to take us to camera page as well okay so that's what we, we are going to be doing so what I'm going to do, I'm going to initialize uh, the actions. So I'm going to be initializing the actions, which is the quick action, uh, the tap listener for it. So what I will do, I will create a quick action, still using the quick action uh, variable stone. So I will say quick action dot initialize. And you can see the type. This type is the same string as this one. So you use it to actually identify the icon that the user tapped on. Okay. And now what we can do, I will, okay, let me use, Okay, let's say if 
or I can use a switch statement or okay let me just use if statement to just make things easy so I'll say if type is equal to camera so make sure it's the same thing as this one okay so if it's equal to camera what we have to do is just to navigate to the camera page okay so I'll be using I already have inside the main dot that I think I already did something like that yeah okay this is push uh, what I'm gonna do just uh, navigator dot push dot push and remove so want to remove the back page uh, that is the splash page because if you don't remove it uh, the splash screen is going to get triggered and it will now authenticate us but because of this so we want to make sure we close the splash screen or any other page that, that follows completely okay because the user is only coming to add camera so they should be taken directly to the camera page okay so we have a Cupertino okay so we have Cupertino page route and here now we call this one a contest and then we can navigate to camera page okay like so alright so make sure you import this camera page as well and we can terminate this one here and also do the same thing for this one so because of linter so the linting so we are going to add constant to this and then i'll do it for the second one again which is for the account which is the settings page so i will say else if okay else if uh type is equal to settings uh yeah it should be the same as that then we are going to go over let's see the page name okay it's actually account okay so we are going to be navigating to the account page which is the other page and i will say all right so a brief explanation here so once we click on this icon so let me go to the app first yeah so if we click now let's say if we click on settings page it's going to call check if the type is equal to settings because you can see the the, the type we gave it here is equal to settings so it's going to check if it's equal to settings there to navigate us to the account page then if we click on camera page you can see the camera type the type is camera so if it's equal to camera then it's going to take us to camera page directly okay the reason why i use a push and remove on t is because it's going so that it's going to any other pages that follows it's going to kill it completely okay just uh, destroy it completely and then let this uh, the camera page be the only page so if you click back it will just exit the app completely all right so i'm going to uh, go back to my app now okay do a hot restart all right so now you can see we are in this home page now all right so let me close it and click let me access the app now through the short code so if i click on settings it's going to take us to settings page directly after showing the splash screen and you see let's watch and okay so nothing really happened so the best way i actually encountered this issue initially so how i did it was to kill the app okay so you have to kill the app first all right then we're not going to uh, run it again then once you run it everything is going to work perfectly all right all right guys so as you can see now the app is running again so now what i can do now what i'm going to do now is just to, i'm going to close it now okay then let's try to assess add and perform the same action again so i'll be okay in this case let's say yeah i'm just going to close the app completely yeah so let's just assume the app is not actually running then i'm going to click on uh, settings page so i want it to navigate us to settings page directly and let's see you can see hooray we are currently in the settings page so let's say i want to go to camera from the shortcut i will just click on it and click on camera so it will take us directly to camera okay so you can see the camera right yeah so we can if we close it it exists the app completely but if we want to open our app normally we just have to tap on it and it will just take us to the home page and then we can interact with our app so one of the amazing thing about this quick action is if your app is very large let's say your app is more like it's, it's so complex you know and users find it difficult to navigate certain pages 
so you can use quick actions okay so they just have to go from the shortcut and then navigate to any pages they want if they want to post if it's a social media app they want to post or whatever they want to do so they just have to go from the shortcut and then access those pages so thank you guys for watching this is what i want to show you so please consider subscribing and like comment if you have any suggestion or anything you saw and i'll do my best uh, to reply to your comments uh, thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate i'll see you in the next video